Okay, here we are to unbox once again a lava lamp. I go lava lamp crazy. Now I'm gonna have third. Now let's see, fourteen of them running at the same time now, and two of them are crap from the Harry Potter. But I won't throw them away because they're so rare. Um, but they don't work anymore. Here we go, the containment lava lamp. Now, unfortunately, yeah, I don't want to tip it upside down or anything because that'll screw it up. Um, right here, they're about $37 for all the lava lamps, but this isn't in many of the Spencer's stores. So, I just want to recommend to people that you understand you have to buy stuff online. In, in my opinion, um, you should. I've only bought a lava lamp once online. That was one of my um, blue and white lava lamp um, lamps, the one I just unboxed. Here we go, here. We got some directions, like usual. We got the base, which um, sometimes they recycle these and send them now and then put them back in the store. I don't like when they do that. But all right, you got the plug. They always have these covers for the plug. I think it's stupid, just to make sure they don't bend or anything, I guess, or for some safety concern. You unravel it. Oh, there's another thing called the t oh, All right, we'll leave that on the ground for now. This is the tie. Got to always remember to undo the tie because this is an extremely important part of everything. Um, take it out. See, it's a, they're just as long as any other lava lamp, too. Uh, let me take. I gotta tell you, this base looks really awesome. Like something with the Back to the Future. Remember when he had all that stuff in the flux capacitor? That's just what it looks like, and it just did what I wanted. It's actually a really, really nice base. It makes it look like it came out from a long time ago. It doesn't look like anything modern, and that's exactly what I like about it. Um, then you take a. Um, ugh, damn it! You take this out, which is the cap. You don't even need the cap. It really, it's there for a cosmetic purpose, but um, you don't need it to function the lava lamp. There we go. Very simple. Then we got the bulb, the 40 watt. This is something you got to test yourself by putting it inside the thing here. You just gotta. If you don't know how to screw in a light bulb, that's pretty sad. You know the term. The doubles. If your head's not, got to make sure it's in securely. Because if you don't, it won't screw in all the way. You know, fire hazard and all kind of other things can happen. There it is. I don't know if you can see it now, but whatever. Alright, so I can't put this on yet because we didn't take the glass jar out. Here comes the jar, glass jar. After we take out this piece of foam to protect the lamp inside. Okay. Typically, they make you take it out like this. Here it is. It's clear inside. Make sure you take everything out of where it is. First, it tells you this. Optimal flow in two to three hours. These lamps never take, they take a lot longer, more like three or four hours to go. In the summertime, they go in about two or three hours, but not in the winter. These can take up to four hours in the winter. Okay. Here we go, and I'm going to put this inside of here. So this is what it's going to look like when it's not running. You're not going to see anything except clear liquid. Because it's going to be green things, a contaminant going through. Oh, and I forgot to take up this, which is the um, cap. So there you go. Now, does it seem boring to me? I don't think it's going to be boring. I think this is going to be a pretty cool lamp. Just got to get used to it. Um... What else um, do I have to say? Nothing really. I'm going to save the box for eternity on this because I haven't seen any really cool lava lamps that were like the alien variety. This is why I like it. It's just like the alien one almost. I have two aliens right now that are running. Plus, I have a contamination lamp. Now, to have a 17-inch lava lamp, um, the reason why I don't put the inches, which is a 17-inch, is because of something very simple. And that's because it's common sense. This lamp was only in one size. And you saw the box. I don't think you have to see it beyond that. Alright. Well, that's it. And um, tuck it away. Bye-bye.